Have you ever tried to print from Excel? I have and it didn't come out quite the way I expected. We live in a time where everything is done digitally. However, hard copies or printouts are still required in some circumstances and knowing how to print from your workbook or data from parts of your workbook is essential. Thomas Bradshaw has been asked by his manager at West Cal Publishing to print a hard copy of some data in the West Cal sales report so that they can provide an update on sales revenue and bonuses in a meeting with stakeholders. Thomas has attempted printing from Excel before, but he didn't know how to configure the settings and page layout to get the results he would have liked. Thomas needs to quickly learn the basics in page layout and print preparation so that he can carry out this task for the manager. Let's have a look at how to use the printing functionality in Excel. There are a range of print options available in Excel to provide you with the tools to achieve the perfect print. The print options can be accessed in the backstage view by clicking the file tab and then print. You can also use the Ctrl and P shortcut. The right side of the print area provides a scaled down version of what your document would look like if it were printed with the current settings. You can flip through the pages using the arrows at the bottom of the screen. There are also two commands in the bottom right hand corner of this view. Click the left command to show or hide the margins and click the right one to zoom to 100%. On the left side of the print area, you will see the print command, which you can use to send the file from your computer to an available printer. Next to it is the copies increment box, which you can use to choose the number of copies that you would like to print. Below is the printer drop down menu that you can use to select a printer. The printer properties will provide more detailed options in a dialog box. Finally, the settings section allows you to choose page ranges, orientation, size, margins and more. To print selected worksheets or a workbook, you can specify which parts of your workbook you would like to print. By default, print active sheets will be selected, so only the currently displayed worksheet will be printed. The print entire workbook option will print all worksheets within the current workbook. Print selection lets you choose the print selected cells only. To open the Page Setup dialog box, click the Page Setup link at the bottom of the Settings section. You can also click the dialog box launcher button in the Page Setup group of the Page Layout tab. With either method, the Page Setup dialog box will open. This dialog box includes four tabs that provide controls to customize how your workbook is printed. Note that some of the options in this dialog box can also be found in the print area of the backstage view. Excel has predefined views which helps you to control how you view your worksheet. You can also customize views. For example, you can choose which elements on the screen are visible or are hidden. The workbook views group on the view tab lets you switch between the different views. When you start Excel, normal view will be selected. You can switch between views using the commands on the status bar as well. From left to right, you can switch between normal, page layout and page break preview views. You can also adjust which elements of the worksheet will be visible by checking or unchecking the element checkbox in the show group of the view tab. Have you ever had a printout where the pages had no titles or had a single row or column of figures on a page by itself? You'll know that this requires you to keep flipping back to the first page while you're reading. When you're preparing to print, Microsoft Excel has great page layout features that solves these issues for you. You have a lot of control over page setup with features such as headers and footers, margins and page orientation. Let's explore these in Excel by starting with headers and footers. Click the option button in the page setup group of the page layout tab. The page setup dialog box will open. Then click the header footer tab. Here you can choose a variety of headers and footers from the appropriate menus. In this example, let's choose the file name as the header and the page number for the footer. Click OK to create your header and footer. In addition to basic header and footer settings, the header footer tab on the page setup dialog box also includes more detailed settings. You can find these settings near the bottom of the tab. These options allow you to set different footers for odd pages, even pages and the first page. You can also add custom headers and footers using the buttons in the middle of the dialog box. Open the custom header dialog box. Notice that there are three boxes that equate to positions on the page. You also have a toolbar of options including text type, page numbering, date and time and insert picture. You can see what your custom header looks like by switching to the page layout view. You can also set alignment and scaling options. If you click margins in the page layout tab, you will see a menu with different preset margin options. Simply click an option to apply it. For more options, click the custom margins command. 
Alternatively, you can click the dialog box launcher button in the page setup group and open the margins tab. With either command, the margins tab of the page setup dialog box will be displayed. Here you can manually set the margin sizes for the current worksheet. You can also center the page's content on the page horizontally and vertically. You can set text alignment on the page as well as header and footer margins. The final print option that we will look at is page orientation. You will find this setting in the print category of backstage view. This setting allows you to choose whether your worksheet will be printed portrait with the long side vertically or landscape with the long side horizontally. You can also find this command on the page tab of the page setup dialog box or by clicking orientation in the page layout tab.